Lessons can be accessed in two ways, either by clicking the Go button on the dashboard or using the Lessons tab on the top. We'll cover the Go button first. When you click on the Go button, the next lesson begins immediately. The dashboard will guide you through the lessons in the proper sequence. If you are ever unsure of what to do next, just click on the Go button and the software will take you to the correct lesson. At the beginning of each lesson, you will hear an introduction of the content of the lesson. Then, based on your performance on the diagnostic assessment, the depth of instruction you receive for each lesson will adapt to match your level of mastery. If you were assigned the mastered level for a given lesson, you will complete a quick skill review after the introduction and then move on to the next lesson. If you were assigned the advancing level, you will go through a skill summary and some interactive activities that reinforce the skills taught in that lesson before moving ahead. If you were assigned the basic level, you will take a short skill check. If you pass the skill check, you will go on to the skill summary and interactive activities for that lesson. If you do not pass the skill check, you will receive the full instruction for that lesson, as is provided at the beginning level. Now look at the buttons on the bottom of the screen. This button is the Student Settings button. It allows you to adjust the volume, change the voice of the narrator, or choose a different background color. You can change these settings at any time. The bar along the bottom shows your progress in the lesson. You can rewind the lesson by clicking on the blue lines on the bar. These blue lines represent sections you have completed. You can also click the pause button at the end of the bar to pause the lesson at any point. This is the Replay button. Click the Replay button to restart the current section you are in. This is the Exit button. Click the Exit button to leave the lesson. If you exit in the middle of a lesson or test, the program will remember where you are and allow you to start back at the same point you were. As you work through the lessons, you will be asked to complete many different activities. Listen carefully to the narrator in order to understand what is required of you. You will see different buttons and options on the screen in different lessons. One button that you will see often is the green Continue button. Click this button when you have finished your work on a screen and you are ready to go on. This is the Record button. These controls allow you to record yourself pronouncing sounds. You must have a microphone connected to your computer. You will be required to use your mouse or keyboard to place markings on the words. Using markings to identify patterns in words will help you recognize letters and the sounds that they make. In many of the lessons, you will be asked to pronounce sounds and words out loud. Doing so will improve your pronunciation. When a lesson has been completed, this screen appears. This shows your score. If you scored low on any sections of the lesson, you can retake these sections. The second way to access lessons is through the Lessons tab. The dashboard will guide you through these lessons in the proper sequence, but if you want to review a lesson or see what is yet to come, then click on the Lessons tab. Lessons are divided into six chapters. The bar along the top shows each chapter. You will start in Chapter 1 and move through all the lessons until you've reached the end of Chapter 6. Chapters that you are working in will have a yellow dot on the Chapter tab. When you have finished the chapter, the dot will turn green and you will be moved to the next chapter. The first lesson in the next chapter will have a yellow frame around it. You can navigate back and forth between chapters by simply clicking on the desired chapter. Within each chapter, you will find buttons representing lessons and most common word lessons. Each lesson button shows the lesson number, an icon that represents the lesson content, and the lesson title. Your current lesson will always be outlined with a yellow frame. You may review a lesson that you've passed at any time by retaking individual sections or the entire lesson. 
lessons for which you have not yet achieved a passing score will have a red frame. You will be required to retake the red framed lessons until you have obtained a passing score. If your teacher overrides a lesson for you, it will have a black frame. This means that you do not need to take the lessons. You can choose to take these lessons at any time, but it is not required. When you click on the Lesson button, you will see the lesson details in a box on the left. Lessons that you are completing for the first time will have a Begin button. Lessons currently in progress will have a Continue button. And lessons you have already finished and passed will say Review. To review a lesson, press the Review button. To start a lesson or continue a lesson, click on the appropriate button here, or return to the dashboard and click the Go button. At the end of each chapter, there is a test. The dashboard will automatically show the test as the next item to be completed in the sequence. Click on the Go button to start the test. Do your best to answer the questions of the test accurately. Just like the lessons, you can exit a test at any time and continue from where you left off when you return.